continue discussion regarding co potential consolidation in Southern Berkshire. Uh, Jane Burke is here, who's the chair of Southern Berkshire, and with Jonathan Bruno, vice chair. Uh, welcome. And, and Jane, did you want to just? Um, well, I'm just delivering something to you because we didn't get a chance to amend our letter, so here it is. Okay. So, um, The motion was that the Southern Berkshire Regional School District School Committee endorses necessary action towards initializing discussion of Berkshire Hills Regional School District towards the creation of a consolidated pre K through 12 Regional School District. So this, and that was unanimous tonight for the Southern Berkshire. So we thought that would be helpful. Go, go right to the microphone, Jane, because I'm going to ask you some questions. Well, we, oh, I, I'm not authorized to answer any questions, really. So. <laughs> That's okay. Between you and I, no one. Uh, no, knows. no. <laughs> seriously, we we have a really yeah. um, a trust situation that there's no voice of the school committee except the school committee. So we're looking forward. If if you're not clear about what that means, I might be able to add something. But I promise that so we are waiting to hear from you. Okay, I will ask you just a couple questions that will not put you on the spot. I just want to clarify. Okay. So we had a letter from a couple of the boards, select boards right. specifically, um, asking us before we go into um, formal negotiations to have put a group together that represent all eight towns, um, right. school committee from both towns and the superintendents. Mm -hmm. You had also asked, your school committee had asked that prior or parallel to this that we have one or two meetings. Yep. Um, and can you just explain that? Yes, it's been a discussed um, that we feel the educators uh, from the school, two school committee, who represent the two school committees, get together and talk educational philosophy and vision, while at the same time the uh, select boards are meeting to look at the nuts and bolts of the, from a government point of view. And I believe you had suggested committee has suggested yeah. five representatives from each school committee right not I had suggested the superintendent yeah we can <laughs> add superintendents yeah. and, and that group so there's that group and then there's the group that's recommended by the select board right and then hopefully all this would move into the then the legal discussion and we're gonna find out some things and right. then we'll see where we go so uh, do I have questions Rick do you have any questions um, no, and, and I appreciate uh, we're put Jane kind of on the spot. And yeah, any formal discussion should be that. held. held um, yeah. Um, um, I think we'll leave you to your discussion and look forward to what comes out of it, and we can watch well, you. Please stay for, for our discussion because it, it won't be long, and, and I really appreciate both of you coming. And um, you know, we have a good relationship, and that will continue and only get better. Okay. So, so feel free. So I think the motion we ha should have is to agree to form both of these committees if that's if that's our intent one is the one that requested by southern berkshire school committee one requested by some of the select board and then we can get into the nuts and bolts of that <coughs> at the next meeting but now let's just start this rolling or we can get in the nuts and bolts tonight yeah i mean i, I would say the letters from the select board you want to just take that committee first Sure, either one. What first. I'll call the municipal committee, I yes. don't know, for lack of a better term. Um, they were looking for a response and hopefully a meeting before September 13th. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to kind of dispose of that tonight, and, or not dispose of it, deal with it tonight. Yes. And, and get that, try try our best to meet their suggested deadline. Well, I definitely would like to get the answer to them in the next few days yeah. so that they know that we're, we want to do this if that's our intent. Yeah. Can I, mean, I think we should. No, no, that, that we, that in responding, and I don't know in what time to do this, this is complicated stuff, and I, I recommend we get some outside objective consultant, somebody from Mars or Mask or something who does this, who is, their only role would be to, to um, outline some of the technical issues and then help facilitate conversations. I don't have a skin in the game on who that is, but I, I think um, 
we would all be better served if we bring in an outside person to do it. While many of us have the skills and maybe experience to do it, I think we also want to participate in the conversation and to facilitate the conversation and participate in the conversation simultaneously with the other person. So my only, and I agree with everything you've had to say, I think the way to do that though is at the first meeting of the municipal group for everyone to decide even though they may make that first meeting a little more brief, but I don't, I don't want us to propose, as you just yeah. said, a facilitator, and them to feel like we're shoving it down their throats. And they, so I think that would be like I mean, the this, first agenda item. The sentiment, which is, you know, comes through all these letters, which I 100% agree with, is that it should be a municipal driven right. thing. And, and, and so. Um, so just for the sake of, people in the audience and on TV. Let me just read the bullet points from a couple of the letters. They're the same letters from the group. We're ready to discuss school district cons consolidation. The discussion of school district consolidation may expand behind high school consolidation. And the Southern Berkshire, as an addendum, Southern Berkshire School Committee has endorsed that already. The Mass General Law Chapter 71, Section 14 will not govern discussions at this time, which I think is extremely important that term at this time. The discussion will be town-centric and town-directed. Representatives from all eight towns are encouraged to participate as they elect the members of our two regional school committees. They don't elect ours, they actually recommend yours, but that's okay, we gotta get to know each other. Uh, one representative from each school district school committee and the two superintendents are requested to participate, and we ask the first meeting be held by Friday, September 13th. So I, in my mind, it's all reasonable requests and it seems like a good start. So do we want a motion to uh, endorse forming the municipal subcommittee? Who, who said, who is that from? This one happens to be from. They're all the same. They're, they're all, all the same. same. This is all the same. 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 All I amend that we that our body participate in the in the this municipal committee, that Chairman Stephen Bannon be our representative to it, and that he be responsible for taking the lead in in um, uh, recruiting a representative from each of the three select boards to do it. With the understanding that Steve will be the representative from our body, and that there'll be somebody else from Rick Ragnar. So we have a, a motion to have a second to that amendment. Second. Okay. So discussion on the amendment. Hearing none, all in favor of the amendment? Aye. Aye. So that's unanimous. So now getting back to the motion to form this municipal subcommittee, which seems like a pretty good name at this point. This is the nuts and bolts committee. Yes. Yes. Yeah. If, if you will. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I think obviously I, my preference was to go with the formal statutory planning committee, uh, but I think this is a very well thought out and reasonable and maybe just as good proposal. Okay. Other discussion? Can I ask a nuts and bolts question of you the nuts and bolts committee? Uh, presumably somebody needs to find a date that works for people. Uh, do you want to, or can I lend you my, my, I gonna borrow my Doreen yes. to do a doodle pool of well, first we've got. Well, first, first thing we have to do, to, if I understand Richard's motion, is to get representatives from all. First, we got to send a letter to Southern Berkshire, the, the five towns, and copy the school committee saying we're, we're agreeing, endorsing we're agreeing this. To this proposal. And then Absolutely. we have to send letters and for the three school of, uh, select boards to get representatives, which we know sometimes. That's yeah, but I don't think difficult. with this you have to get two. I mean, the, the, I mean. I now see you know, one of the problems with what I was proposing was there was a formal appointment process with designated members and all that. Yeah. Um, I think one of the luxuries of what um, the Southern Berkshire folks have proposed is we can dispense with all that. Right. Uh, I, I think you should get on the phone tomorrow yeah. to the three select board chairs and tell them they got to get, and I don't know, it has, doesn't have to be something that's done at a formal meeting, just somebody's got to, you're just participating in a, in a, in a committee. So, um, as sensitive as we are to the open meeting law, it may be a good idea to be in a formal meeting, but if we call tomorrow, they can put out the next yeah, agenda. The beauty of that doesn't apply here. Yeah. But, but I agree. I mean, yeah. Everyone's got to do what they got to do to make sure they're fair to their constituents, but I think I think uh, um, we can move 
You can move expeditiously to get this group together. Yes. Okay, so I have a motion and a second. It's a motion that was amended. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. And I'm sure it's unanimous, so I want to make sure that's really important. Second, we have the request, the suggestion of the Southern Berkshire Regional School District School Committee that we form an educational subcommittee, which would be our two superintendents and five members of each school committee to meet um, to discuss educational, I won't call it concerns, but just discuss education. And that was only one or two sessions. It's not planning group. It's, it's a getting to share ideas group. Okay. Did I keep saying yeah. that idea? Yeah, I just want you to go to the mic because it's Okay, so um, this is not a formal meeting. It's a way for us to have a discussion about where we're each coming from educationally and what we hope to gain uh, by such a consolidation. And if there's fertile ground and enough overlap between the two um, districts to feel positive about moving forward. Uh, yeah, I, we're happy with parallel. Yeah. And we didn't give you a deadline because we'll do it as soon as we can. Yeah, yeah. Sooner than later, but can, Sooner. can I ask a, a yeah. clarifying question sure. on that? Uh, it, it might be helpful to have a, a principal or two there mm -hmm. to, to share some ideas. If, if, mm -hmm. if, are you amenable to that? Yeah. Okay. I would say so but I will, I'll take it back for approval. But I don't okay. see any reason why not, because the goal is to share ideas. And I understand the school committee members aren't as knowledgeable as what, about what's going on in the schools as the people who are running the schools. Right. Uh, but you are responsible for the mission, and you have school improvement plans that you're aware of, and you have goals. So we'd rather not just read those on pieces of paper. We'd like to see the people. I think that puts this is this is this is this is a high scale policy thing. I think the the thrust staff members in the middle of that is not fair to them. Okay. I mean, it's a, anybody can come. I don't care. But I think that just by the proposal, puts some obligation on these guys, which I don't think is their job. Well, so the the alternative thing is. I meet with my leadership team before the meeting and get a bunch of ideas from them and then bring those collectively generated ideas to the broader group. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I, I would say this at the onset, I, 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 I think that superintendents meet all the time. You guys have a round table. Presumably you guys are exchanging all this information. This is a historic time for school committee members to sit down and really have a candid conversation. So I don't want to turn this into a staff so do I have a motion to form what I will call the uh, Educational Committee of Southern Berkshire? So I have a second. Second from Ann. Other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Now, I think if we're, we've already formed the other committee. Can I say thank you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just go to the microphone and state your name, please. I'm going to say thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Renee Wood. I'm the chair of the select board from um, Sheffield. And first of all, I want to thank you for addressing collectively the five towns' letters, which are, as you noted, extremely similar. And that is because we speak with one voice. And what I am willing to volunteer is working with Steve, who has been appointed the representative for the Berkshire Hills District and will contact each of the three towns select boards in your district. I will work with him and Sheffield will take the lead to do the rest of the coordination with the individuals so that we can in fact have this first meeting on or before the 15th. Perfect. So I will borrow, I, I will volunteer to do that. Um, and I've just taken that that's been accepted. Yeah, that's been okay. Accepted. The second thing that I want to um, say is that um, even though this is a very town-centric uh, committee, um, the committee members, at least for the five towns that make up Southern Berkshire Regional School District, are very much aware 
of the legalities that are involved in moving forward and one of the things that will be discussed whether it's at the first meeting or the second meeting is to bring in Desi or someone from that group who knows the ins and outs of how this process may take place or the variations thereof um, including a, a possible expansion of a committee that's um, under uh, section uh, 14. So we have thought very thoroughly about the fact that we will have to be addressing a number of legalities, finding funding. This is the beginning of a process, but it is one that all of us feel is long overdue and we're really looking forward to getting together with all of the eight towns and then the respective members of the two uh, districts and uh, the superintendents. So thank you. Thank you. So I think we should have our five members for tonight. There's no sense of waiting for the educational component. Uh, I'll take volunteers first. I actually, I obviously want to be on that. I will vote. And so Andy. So there's three. Which one are we doing? This is the education. Four, I need one more. Molly, do I have to grab you or Annie? Okay, okay. Molly, take no, no. Molly. You wrote to take Molly. Molly. No, no, I'll take Anne. Yeah. You raised your hand. You gotta look right next time. I would step off if you both want to go. Why don't you do that? Yeah, I, I, that's yeah. good. Idea. Okay, so, yeah. and it's still gonna be an open meeting and you obviously can attend and, and no one's gonna keep you quiet. So. <laughs> <laughs> So we have our five members, so that makes that stops it from being two weeks from now before we get our members, so that speeds things up. So I think that, that's good, and hopefully someone wrote down for those five. I did. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, any other questions or comments on this? Uh, it's a historic evening, and I, and I hope it's the beginning of a very fruitful process. Jane, thank you very much. Thank and you. Both Thanks of you for coming. You. We Will really you talk appreciate about that. Setting up a date? Yes, please. Thank you very much. And Terry, from your point of view, and Evan, what a mistake to go to the Great Barrington.